The sun-drenched skies over southern England bore witness to the opening chapter of a pivotal struggle as the calendar turned to July 10, 1940. The Battle of Britain, an aerial confrontation that would test the mettle of nations and reshape the course of World War II, had begun. The names of British and German pilots, Spitfire aces like Douglas Bader and Hurricane stalwarts like Keith Park, alongside the formidable German Luftwaffe led by Hermann Göring, would become etched in the annals of history, a testament to the courage and sacrifice of those who soared amidst the clouds. The stage was set over the English Channel, where the white cliffs of Dover stood as sentinels against an impending onslaught. The names of RAF airfields, Biggin Hill, Hawkinge, and Kenley, became the nerve centers from which the defenders of Britain's skies, the Royal Air Force, launched their sorties. The Spitfires and Hurricanes, their iconic silhouettes etching graceful arcs against the azure canvas, became symbols of resilience in the face of an ominous adversary. Adolf Hitler, having secured victories across mainland Europe, sought to cripple Britain's air defenses in preparation for a planned invasion. The names of British leaders, Winston Churchill, Hugh Dowding, and Air Chief Marshal Sir Keith Park, found themselves at the forefront of a battle to safeguard their nation's freedom. The British people, under the shadow of the impending blitz, looked to the skies with a mix of trepidation and hope. The Luftwaffe, its pilots hardened by victories in Poland and France, embarked on a campaign of aerial supremacy. The names of German aces, Adolf Galland, Werner Mulders, and Gunther Lutzow, became synonymous with daring dogfights as they clashed with their counterparts in the Royal Air Force. The skies over Britain echoed with the staccato of machine gun fire and the roar of engines as two formidable air forces collided. The Battle of Britain, unfolding in the vastness of the heavens, saw the names of iconic aircraft, Messerschmitt Bf 109, Junkers Ju 87 Stuka, and the aforementioned Spitfire and Hurricane, become the protagonists in a high-stakes drama. The air raid sirens wailed over London as German bombers, escorted by swarms of fighters, sought to break the spirit of the British people. The names of British cities, London, Coventry, and Southampton, bore the brunt of the relentless onslaught, their streets echoing with the sounds of air raid shelters and the drone of enemy planes. Amidst the chaos, the indomitable spirit of the British people emerged as a beacon of defiance. The names of ordinary citizens, Londoners seeking refuge in the underground, ARC wardens patrolling the darkened streets, and the valiant crews of anti-aircraft batteries, underscored the collective will to endure. The Blitz, an onslaught that aimed to break the morale of a nation, instead ignited a flame of resilience that would burn bright throughout the darkest days. As the Battle of Britain raged on, the names of airfields and radar stations, Duxford, Tangmere, and Bordsey, became linchpins in the defense against the Luftwaffe. Radar, a nascent technology at the time, emerged as a silent guardian, its operators guiding British fighters to intercept incoming raids with unparalleled precision. The Battle of Britain became not just a contest of aircraft and pilots but a testament to the synergy of technological innovation and human courage. Throughout the summer of 1940, the names of individual dogfights, such as the relentless clashes during the hardest day, on August 18, 1940, became milestones in a battle of attrition. The skies, painted with the trails of vapor and smoke, bore witness to the valor of men on both sides. The names of fallen pilots, on both sides of the conflict, became a poignant reminder of the human cost of war in the ethereal realm of aerial combat. The resilience of the RAF, bolstered by the names of Battle of Britain squadrons, no. 303 Squadron composed of Polish pilots, No. 92 Squadron, and the legendary No. 617 Squadron among them, became a symbol of Britain's determination to stand firm against the tyranny that threatened to sweep across the continent. The names of Air Vice Marshal Trafford Lee Mallory and Air Vice Marshal Sholto Douglas encapsulated the leadership that steered Britain through the tempestuous skies. September 15, 1940, emerged as a pivotal day in the Battle of Britain, a day often referred to as Battle of Britain Day. The names of squadrons and individual pilots, such as the famed Polish ace Joseph Frantisek, became heroes as they repelled wave after wave of German attacks. The tide of the battle shifted, and the collective sigh of relief echoed across Britain. The turning point of the Battle of Britain marked not just a military victory but a testament to the indomitable spirit of a nation. The names of ordinary citizens, children evacuated to the countryside, families huddled in Anderson shelters, and communities rebuilding amidst the ruins, 
underscored the resilience that became the backbone of Britain's resolve. As the autumn winds swept away the smoke and echoes of the Battle of Britain, the names of those who had stood against the storm emerged as a testament to the triumph of human spirit over the relentless onslaught of war. The Luftwaffe, having faced an unbowed wrath, suspended its plans for invasion. Britain, though scarred and battered, stood resolute, and the names of its defenders became synonymous with courage in the face of adversity. The Battle of Britain, while concluding in the skies, resonated far beyond the realm of aerial combat. The names of cities, towns, and villages that had weathered the storm emerged as symbols of a nation that had stared into the abyss and refused to yield. The victory in the skies over Britain became a turning point, altering the trajectory of the war and inspiring Allied forces as they prepared for the arduous campaigns that lay ahead.